What's going on, everybody? This is JVB from the Post Game Report Podcast. I'm recording on my Samsung Galaxy Note 20, so the audio is not going to be the same, but I did discover something that is pretty cool. So if you do purchase the PlayStation 5 controller, you can actually use it via remote play. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. But one thing about the controller, it is really nice. It has a nice, it's not heavier, not that much heavier anyway, than the PlayStation 4 controller. But it does feel like it's fuller. Uh, it is not too big, as you can see right here. And it's color-wise like a very light, light gray. And then, as we all know, we have the... Uh, I don't know if you can see all the cool X's and O's. But this is a really fine looking controller. And the triggers feel really, really freaking good. Everything feels good. Anyway, so let me tell you how I got to attach this controller into my PlayStation 4. Or how I'm able to use it via remote play so <clears throat> excuse me I have an adapter that actually came with my steel series Artis Arctis excuse me 7p uh, video game headset and it attaches USB-C to USB so it is a female adapter and is attached to my iMac so I'm going to have to move my phone here so bear with me so I have it connected via USB into a, a base over there and here is my PlayStation 4 via via remote play so I'm trying to get the best angle here that I can get so you can see the screen I'm gonna hold up once again I, I'm using my phone here so look I'm gonna hit the trigger whoop wrong one there we go and let's go to a game let's see uh, let's go to I believe Days Gone was the last game I was playing. So remember, folks, I'm using my DualShock 5 or my DualSense controller for the PlayStation 5 via remote play. Now, of course, I'm not going to get any haptic feedback. So let's just double check that. This feels really weird trying to hold up the controller, play, and talk at the same time. So let me take out a weapon. Look. All right. And I'm going to shoot. Oh, shit. I actually do get some heptic feedback. Yo, it is a lot stronger. Let me see if you can hear this, or let me put it closer. Yeah, you really can't tell, but let me throw a grenade. Throwing a grenade, hold down the left trigger, and you throw with the right R2. You get haptic feedback now I don't know obviously you're not gonna get the full effects as you will with a PlayStation 5 but nonetheless if you hook up your PlayStation 5 controller via remote play you can use it technically on a to play a PlayStation 4 game so anyway I am JVB I will talk to you later